Hi, Dick Rochford here. This is uh, the M Mike M600, M600 Piper aircraft with uh, ALO, emergency auto land. Not that we're using it today. Uh, we're in the descent to Delta Mike Whiskey, Carroll County, Maryland. Descent and maintain 7,000. Descent maintain 7,000. Five zero, Tango. Gotcha. Yeah, so just bring that back something that you know won't let it go uh, go over again. Yep. So here in the descent we're uh, looks like the timing's pretty good here. We're not gonna presume that it is, but we got some weather moving toward the airport. Uh, I believe we're gonna be well in ahead of it. And the plan is to do the RNAV, uh, fly the RNAV 3-4 into Carroll County, which should be a left turn for us. So we'll be past this event here. Which is, uh, looks like it's going to slide off west of the airport. Of course, we've got color weather radar in NEXRAD, so we're using uh, the, the NEXRAD for the strategic portion of the planning, and the tactical portion will be with the radar. So now, uh, setting up the GTC number two. So I have, can control the radar from here. We've got the bearing pointer turned on, and we're flying the lover line. By that, I mean the course is aligned with the nose of the airport airplane. So a very light quartering, right quartering tailwind uh, here on the approach or the arrival. Uh, so we're going to leave the bearing pointer pretty much straight ahead, 40-mile uh, range, and... Uh, zero degrees left. And we could switch to the vertical profile and note any asymmetry top to bottom, which would indicate the presence of water in the air. There is no asymmetry in this paint, and so we're guaranteed to be water-free. As you can see, we're not cloud-free. So now then, since we're not cloud-free, we're concerned about outside air temperature and one look at that, we're already warm enough. It's a plenty warm day. So other than cold-soaked fuel, we're not expecting to see any ice on the airplane. Let me put this back to the default horizontal position, which allows us to paint the ground on the outer quadrant. So now we know none of this is water. Uh, so uh, we're going to tilt this up. so we could see less of the ground. And so th this is the ridge line we're coming across. Right down here, you can see it. So I'm not actually paying close attention to the angle of the tilt. I'm more interested in knowing where I've got water in front of me. And to that end, I want to paint the ground so that I'm not overflying water and not knowing it. Today, uh, this isn't quite so critical because we have, so far anyway, we have some good uh, Mark 1 eyeball uh, data coming into the cockpit. So strategically, this looks like it's going to work out on the next red side. And on the color weather radar side, so far so good. Note that this 40-mile ring corresponds to this 40-mile ring. The colors in the radar are uh, more accurate than the colors in the next rad for two reasons. One, the resolution is better here on the radar, and uh, resolution is less so. You can see it's a little blocky at this range. That's because of the, the resolution. And that's not the equipment resolution, that's the resolution of the 
the data collection equipment and the processing. Um, having said that, we're, uh, we're using both tools in a way that guarantees that we got it right. 